hi guys you're welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make a road color so please if you do enjoy the video give it a thumbs up then share my videos with your loved ones and also feel free to share your opinion in the comment section and if i yet to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for please subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you get notified each time i post new videos so guys sit tight and enjoy this video thank you so this is the basic bodies that i'll be working on um, down to the waistline so for the front part i have a round neckline with a neckline depth of four inches and the neck width of 3.5 okay the neck depth is four inches and the neck width which is, which is 3.5 inches then for the back pattern i have a v neck neckline yeah you can see v neck and um with the zipper allowance so most preferably it's advisable we use v neck for the back so that the color can sit well okay so now to proceed we have to measure the neckline round from the back from one edge to the other you understand from uh, one zipper to the other zipper allowance so I have about 26 inches there about 26 inches so so go ahead and use it to measure the neck collar so this is the pieces i'll be using for the neck collar so i'm going to fold it on bias so i didn't just fold it into two i fold it on bias like it's going to um be on on a triangle okay so we are not squaring this up it's just in the form of a triangle then after folding on bias you fold again which will not give me this form I hope you understand so after folding again it should still give us a triangle that's the way you are seeing here so make sure this is well aligned then the overall neckline that i measure divided by two that's what i'm going to mark on this piece now so the 26 inches divided by two which is 13 inches so i measure the 13 inches then for the height of the collar i i'll be using just three inches for the sake of this video but you can always increase the height of the color you can use up to five inches if you want the color to really fold well five inches or more is advisable then the remaining pieces you can just see the way i form in i connect it downward just to give me that um slanted line over there so and i'm going to cut this out okay so i'm going to use this as my color as my um root color so this is it so you can secure this with facing with um sorry with an interfacing or we call it stay okay so i've joined the edges you can see and it's well raised so and i also notch the middle the midpoint of this piece of the plain piece which i'm going to take also to the center front the midpoint on the center front then make sure the right side of the collar piece is attached to the wrong side of the 
um, basic of the um, yes of the fabric I hope you understand make sure the right um, the right part of the color piece is attached to the inside or to the wrong side of the basic bodies okay then note that the color is going to stand is going to stop just before the zipper allowance so after sewing my i have to go back and adjust it again because i have some excesses there so after sewing this is what um it should look like you can see so the joining will be you can see then you fold it this way So this is what it will look like when you're done. This is the front pattern and also the back pattern. So as you can see from the video, the front pattern. So as I said, you can use up to five inches. You really want the cuff to to be pronounced. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.